Good morning, everybody. This is Drew Geis from DocuSign. First and foremost, I want to thank you very much for joining joining us for driving field side field sales with DocuSign and Telus. I also want to thank Claire Jacobs from Telus and Chris Peacock from Traction and Demand for joining us. For today's agenda, we're going to give you a very quick introduction to DocuSign, but we're going to spend the the majority of the time talking about the door-to-door -door sales application that Traction on Demand is built with TELUS. Before we get started, as Titus mentioned in the prep calls, you're on listen-only mode. We are going to be doing Q&A at the end, though. There is a Q&A chat box, or should be on the bottom right hand of your screen. You go ahead and answer, enter in questions there, and we'll collect them throughout the, the presentation and try to answer as many as we can at the end of the call. All right, so DocuSign. Many of you have invested in ERP systems, CRM systems, line of business systems, and those systems are designed to communicate with the different uh, constituents in your business, your consumers, your customers, your partners, and your employees. What we see at DocuSign is that oftentimes when it comes to the moment of truth, you have to resort to, to paper, and what you end up with are uh, systems supported by, by manual processes and ultimately a bad, a bad or poor customer experience. And here at DocuSign, we believe that there's a better way. And that way, of course, is, is DocuSign. So one way to think about DocuSign is an application that helps connect the systems that you've built for your business or that you're using for your specific business to the people that, that work in and around your business. Said in the most succinct way we can think of here at DocuSign, DocuSign is the fastest, most secure way to make every decision and approval digital so you can keep life and business moving forward. Our customers choose DocuSign primarily for three reasons. One, choice. So you can use us right out of the box with our, our standalone application. But more importantly, you can use us with, with one of the many pre-built integrations that we have or or with our APIs to build into your existing systems. To the experience. Your experience starts when you decide to partner with DocuSign. We make it easy for you to implement and use our application, driving immediate user adoption and, and benefit for you to the customer. And of course, none of this happens without trust. DocuSign and its customers run a lot of their business critical processes on there, and that, that information needs to be protected at all costs. So we use the most reliable, uh, and, and we are the most reliable and globally trusted service for digital transaction management. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Chris. Thanks, Drew. Um, so a quick intro on Traction and then I'll jump into this. Um, we are a business and technology consulting firm. Uh, we're focused on the Salesforce platform as, uh, as our platform for development. Um, we're a partner of DocuSign and, and we like to, to say that we bend both technologies around business um, processes and practices, um, but we also say we want to bend processes and practices around these technologies to really leverage um, leverage them. The ultimate goal of our organization as a, as a partner um, is to make businesses and people more efficient and more effective. Um, so with that, uh, I'll, I'll just touch really quickly on, uh, on our involvement, our engagement with DocuSign. So the first one from our product company, so um, uh, our products group, we built a, an application which is a visitor guest management platform, leverages DocuSign for MNDAs. Uh, we also implement, as you can see, here's a bit of a NASCAR, I call it my NASCAR slide, um, some clients that um, we worked with on both the Salesforce and DocuSign platform. Um, and then the last one here is part of the best of breed perfect technology stack. So we have this um, theory which is uh, the, the, the technology stack, and it's different for different people um, and different organizations, but ultimately it's pulling in um, the best technologies to develop your own stack and implement your own stack. So ourselves, we use DocuSign in our HR practices, our sales and, con and contracting, HR forms and events, our recruitment. Um, it really is um, a, a big part of our business. So with that said, I'm going to uh, hand the uh, um, uh, the mic over to Claire uh, to do a bit of an intro on TELUS for those of you who don't know who TELUS is, uh, as well as uh, introduce the topic of today's webinar. Great. Thanks, Chris. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, my name is Claire Jacobs, and I'm a project manager at TELUS. 
If you don't know what TELUS is, TELUS is one of Canada's largest telecom companies um, serving consumer business and corporate customers. Um, we offer a plethora of products, including, including best-in-class wireless and wireline products. And our wireline products that we're double-clicking on today um, are things like TV, internet, and home services. Um, TELUS has, a numer has numerous distribution channels from bricks and mortar and retail, but the channel we are talking about today is our direct-to-consumer team. This direct consumer team's prime objective is to sell customers telesolutions directly via door-to-door -door sales and mall and community events. Um, although this team is considered small and has a very challenging job, they are able to contribute to at least 25% of TELUS's wireless loading, which is huge. When I say considerably small team, um, the team can be anywhere upwards to 500 reps in the field spread across our two western provinces in Canada at any given time. So fairly small team yielding impressive sales, re uh, sales results. So with these impressive sales results, it put quite a spotlight on the team, the, the direct consumer team. From an executive level, the ask was basically to double click on what the team's opportunities were and find a way to fine tune and make improvements that could be beneficial to tell us, the sales reps, and ultimately our customers. When we were going through this exercise, we found several key opportunities. Some of those were lowering operational costs or costs in general, increasing rep productivity, improving our sales process, increasing um, conversion from customer contact to confirm sale, and leveraging TELUS's data to empower and set our sales, rep, sales reps up for success. Okay, thanks for that, Claire. Um, can you maybe uh, just touch on some of the, the challenges or, or um, pains that the customer or that the um, organization was facing that kind of spurred the um, inception of this application? For sure, Chris. Um, so basically, there was there were several challenges. Um, this team, although they were they were selling an incredibly high or closing an incredibly high amount of sales, um, their their sales process was archaic and timely. It was basically a paper based process with a swivel chair process at the end tacked on. So basically, to 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 give you guys a picture, paint a picture of, of what these reps would go through on a day to day basis, uh, selling door to door. They would basically fill out a piece of paper, a paper contract at the door with the customer, fax that paper back to the back office. Depending on the legibility of the contract, the back office rep would go back and forth with the customer to validate the order, clear up discrepancies, then finally book the installation of the product order. This process could take anywhere from up to four to six weeks from customer contact to installation. Um, so a lengthy process as well as tons of paper floating around back and forth with customer and a huge opportunity here to reduce the amount of paper we were, lo we were using and go green. TELUS always, uh, is always thinking green when we go through any of our initiatives. Um, another challenge we faced was there was really no regional data. As you can imagine, having a paper-based process, there's real no way to, to understand your sales penetration, um, to, to leverage the data that we had on our customers and, and empower our reps to have them take that with them. Um, the, 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 the paper process didn't yield real tracking on where the doors were knocked, what happened at that door, what was the customer response to that knock on the door. Um, what even to, to drill down to what products do the customer have? I mean, for example, if you're a Telus customer, an existing Telus customer, and I come to the door with a Telus shirt on trying to sell you something, a lot of the customers would say, "Hey, you're with Telus. Shouldn't you already know what I have?" Um, and these are things you know the reps were just unprepared with. Um, a major challenge. Again, here's another one. Um, with with pricing, um, you know, wireline services, sometimes there could be uh, hundreds of different uh, promos or packages in the market at any given time. Um, and with, with the complexity of our pricing model, um, there was no easy way for the rep to build a customer's price package or bundle on, on the fly at the door. Um, they would basically have a pamphlet, which would give them some of the, you know, the top offers and hope that that's what the customer was going to take to close their sale which is also could lead to a lengthy discussion if, if what was on the pamphlet was just not fitting for that customer. Um, another gap we had was increasing security overall. Paper, nothing is secure. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Um, reporting as well. Um, to have such a successful sales team, reporting is invaluable. Um, paper process, again, didn't give us a real way to have cons consistently measure regional effectiveness, our rep productivity, or understand the market. We didn't have marketing intel to be able to 
you know, review and uh, push out better mar marketing campaigns in the future. Reps are basically doing what we say, spray and pray. Go to the neighborhood, knock on a ton of doors, and then pray that you're going to close the sale. Um, most importantly, there was a major opportunity to take all this fantastic data that we had on customers, tell us data, and putting it in the hands of those who could provide a better customer experience for our people and for all our customers. All right, so what did you do about it? <laughs> well, here's where the magic happens. So, um, TELUS worked with our partner Traction to make magic happen, basically. Um, we wanted to better understand the landscape and double-click on things like data, technology, and process. Um, we wanted to identify the potential opportunity best practices and trends in technology and customer experience. And then de design a solution um, which addressed our major challenges, which I just reviewed, um, a, a solution that could leverage the Salesforce platform, which TELUS actually already had invested in, um, leverage all the data that TELUS had on our customers already and all that, that fantastic intel. Um, and of course, use technology like our DocuSign integration, um, sexy iPad devices, the power of iOS, and even things like Google Maps. Um, and ultimately bundle all these wonderful things into one custom direct-to-consumer sales application. Um, by doing this, um, this completely changed um, the landscape of door-to-door -door sales today. I mean, this app has now been leveraged at mall events, at community events, because it's, it's such an easy-to-use and intuitive tool. Um, some of the results, I'm going to touch quickly on this right now, but we'll, we'll come back to this at the end of the session. Um, but just to share uh, some great, great results that we did yield um, from switching to this application, um, at least a 40% reduction of time from customer signature to product installation. So what I mentioned earlier was it could take up to four to six weeks for this to happen. And when I say more than 40%, you could see this turnaround from the time I knocked on the door to have your installer there within two to three days. It's fantastic, um, a huge client delighter, using at least 30% less paper throughout the process, um, which is a, a, a huge OPEX saving. Uh, increasing rep productivity, resulting in more knocks, um, where the reps are working smarter, but not necessarily harder. <laughs> Enhancing our security, of course. Um, all of our customer security is, or all of our customer information is completely secure, as well as the application. Um, reducing customer churn by being able, being able to book that installation at the door. And uh, when we go into the showcase uh, up next, you'll be able to see some of those screens. Um, and ultimately, just really the overall improved customer um, experience. We have all this great TELUS data, and we were able to understand it and put it into the hands of people that could actually use it and improve that experience overall for our valuable customers. And, I mean, just the last thing, just not even to forget this, the cool factor when a rep and a customer are interacting with the application on the iPad together, it makes for a really fun, um, engaging experience. So great results awesome. overall. So maybe awesome. Chris, you can, that. now that we're all excited, you can take us through a little <laughs> showcase of, uh, of this application. Yeah, great. So we're going to go through and uh, showcase some of this, um, the screens. Hopefully some of you uh, of our, our Canadian attendees have seen this in person um, at their doors, but we'll jump into the application here. Um, so the first screen I'm going to show you here, and uh, as, as, clean, as, as Claire kind of focused on a couple times, this, the security aspect of this. So, of course, there's a the concern about what happens with lost iPads, um, what happens with that data. This is cloud-based. Everything is built on the Salesforce platform, so there's no caching of information. So if an uh, if, uh, iPad is lost or stolen, it's, uh, I mean, obviously it's a, a loss to the company of the cost of that iPad, but um, there's no uh, threat to security at all. So it is a secure um, individual user, so each rep is given a, a, a username and login. Um, if that rep leaves the organization, it's as quick as a checkbox to um, deactivate them. So uh, a secure, safe platform, whereas uh, we can all imagine what happens when you lose a clipboard. Um, first of all, you lose the orders for the day as well as you lose the, the data that, uh, any of the data that could have been captured on there. Um, so the next one here, um, the rep, this is, uh, as Claire mentioned, leveraging Google, uh, so we're leveraging the Google API in here to pull in the maps. And this allows the sales managers to do some, um, some territory management and look at uh, uh, who's, what is available and, and what is there, right down to the, um, 
uh, individual rep who can kind of, kind of uh, think about what their routes are going to be for the day and how they're going to approach their day. Um, so these, uh, once they zoom in, so they can see the areas that are, are hot by the neighborhoods, then once they zoom in, they actually see um, the locations themselves. So the prospects are identified by different color coding, as you can see here, the, the green ones are available doors to knock on. Orange ones already have an order in progress, so um, it saves them going and knocking on a door to find that out. They can see that right on there. If an order is submitted, uh, if they're unavailable or a person is, has um, uh, signified that they, they don't want to be approached, they'll show up as black. So the goal is to, to give them a good understanding of what their day or what their next next couple hours could look like by going through this map. Then uh, the next piece here, they actually zoom in, so when they pick a specific house and click on the house, on the right here, you can see that they actually they actually get some really valuable information to inform that conversation before they even go up to the door. So what do they have? What is my actual opportunity when I knock on this door for either the upsell or the cross-sell to this customer? Um, and notice if they've been approached before, so the number of knocks or, or it just uh, it gives them visibility into the customer. Um, yeah, so... I, uh, I'll jump on to the next one here. So from there uh, as well, they can actually zoom in. So as I mentioned, because this is Google, we get to leverage all the um, uh, all the capabilities of Google. We can zoom in and see the street view just to confirm that um, the address is actually the one that we're looking at. Um, so all that information that we had on the customer is there. Then this is uh, this is. This one is was a, a big part of this exercise and this project, um, and what this is here um, is the uh, the whole pricing matrix. So Claire touched on this earlier. So being able to build that, and I like how how you use the term Claire on the fly, being able to build up those packages or those pricings and those um, bundles. So um, with TELUS, there's a massive matrix on what products you can get and what happens when you add certain products. So developing a, the logics and the, the rules that go in with that pricing was a big part of this. So we didn't change any of their pricing. This wasn't an exercise to look at product and pricing. It was what it was. But be able to articulate that and put it in front of the rep and the customer so they can actually build those and look at the different options and variables as they go through this. For sure, and Chris, I'm excited about this one, so I just want to top up a little bit and just to set, uh, to provide some context to our listeners. Um, I think we probably locked ourselves in the basement when when going through this because this this simple screen, this intuitive screen with you know a couple steps. I think there's a three or four steps on one page to to get you your package, your pricing on the right hand side, your pricing before discount, after discount, even when you're if your discount's between twelve and twenty four months, what it's gonna look like. You know, behind the scenes there's this crazy spider web of rules and pricing and if this applies, but if you pick this, this won't apply. Um, it, it's really, really complicated and for us to be able to find a way to display it in such a clean and intuitive manner, even if you, and just keep in mind, most of these door-to-door -door sales reps are seasonal workers that possibly they're on break from university, could be a, new, a, a number of things, but this is minimal training is required. Anybody can figure out how to use this. You're basically just pressing buttons. You can customize your TV package. I think we even have a um, part of our showcase screen where you can actually customize all of your movie channels and add-ons. Um, it, it's just, it's just so intuitive, and it's made the selling, this part of the bundle building, so much easier um, and actually fun to do it with the customer beside you. Yeah, and actually a, a really neat part of that, when we were kind of looking at the results after and kind of um, going door to door, watching how these reps were interacting with the customer, a neat part of it was that the, the customer would actually, rather than be face to face with the iPad in between them, the customer would actually come to the rep side of the screen and they would go through these packages together and build these out together. Um, so it makes it, it, makes it uh, a little bit of a, a little bit less of that uh, I'm selling you type of interaction to it. We're working together to build out a solution for you. Um, so the next part here is so once they've actually gone through and they've built out what their packages are and what the features that, that they wanted to use, they've built out their bundles, the next part is to actually capture any of the information that we need to actually finish that order. So um, because the data is in there, whatever's in here will be pre-populated. If we're missing any of the data, now's the time to capture it. 
And rather than capturing it, as I mentioned before, and re-entering it into another system at a later date, this is all integrated into the to the master data. So um, uh, we capture information. There's credit um, requirements if the customer doesn't already have the credit check stuff, contact information, customer name, um, and then from that, um, this is a, a great piece as well. We can actually um, uh, select the most appropriate time for the install. So uh, this is a, a newer feature and it eliminates another service scheduling step or call to help uh, kind of speed that whole process through. Then this is where we jump into the DocuSign piece. So getting that, um, uh, taking all that information, consolidating it into, into the forms, we're doing that on the back end, um, and then we click right in. So any of the information that they've, they've clicked by building out those bundles and those packages, all the customer information that we've grabbed is now fed into the form templates. Um, and then the customer clicks on it to initial. They go in and use their finger to do the signature, and, uh, and then that's it. Um, there's one last step here that um, that we asked the rep to do, and this is a really cool one as well. So at the end of that act, that engagement or that transaction, as the as the rep is turning to walk back to the street, this is where they can give just with a couple clicks, they can give some super valuable information to the marketing team, which is, and not just the marketing team, but the the operations team to say, okay, what happened on that knock? There was no one home, so therefore, it's someone who who remains in the available status. Uh, what was the language? There's some weather stuff on there. Uh, I think one of the boxes we have on there is actually uh, um, you can put notes if there's a, a scary dog in the yard or whatever. So just, again, it lets them um, put notes on the activity quickly and easily that will be valuable to the next person or really valuable to the marketing team. Yeah, I mean, Chris, just to top up on this as well, this is another huge win. We were talking a lot during this session, guys, about tell us having valuable data to be able to put it in into the hands of those who need it. This is this is actually um, one piece of new data that we're collecting from this knock screen, knock and tell. Not only beneficial for the marketing team, but actually for all of the managers, the regional managers, or even executive level to roll it up and report on how what was our regional effectiveness on this campaign? How many doors did we actually knock? How many closed how many sales did we close? What happened at the door? How happy, how many black doors we have? Uh, how, uh, you know, how many customers don't want to speak to us? And it really helps us take this information, um, analyze it, and be able to go back and do a better job next, next time and penetrate even harder and better. Really mm -hmm. love the screen. Thanks, Chris. Awesome. Uh, one other point I'll touch on, I didn't, I didn't show it on this one, but it's um, uh, that whole receipt or what happens after that transaction. So at the end of that signature process, the customer can click on an option um, of do you want a hard copy paper invoice, do you want an emailed invoice, so we still give the option for the, the customer to be delivered the information the way they want, um, but they can they can signify that right there. And, and um, uh, what, what we're finding is most people want it by email, they're going through this process, just email me the, the invoice, but if they do want it sent uh, the old school way or the snail mail way, they, um, that's an option on there as well. So now maybe we'll jump back in uh, and just kind of re-highlight some of those uh, results, Claire. Yeah, for sure. So guys, you've seen the app, you've heard why we did what we did, the, the opportunities and the challenges we faced, and, and why we kind of jumped in um, with both feet and, and started this project. And really what started out as a Skunk Works project for TELUS turned into a huge success. Um, and again, just to reiterate uh, some of the points that I mentioned previously, up more than a 40% reduction in time from customer contact to installation, which is, as I mentioned earlier, a huge, uh, huge delighter. I mean, if you've just moved to a new home and you're dying to watch that, you know, the NHL playoff, you just, you know, you want your TV hooked up. You don't want to be waiting six weeks for that to happen. So, you know, that, that reduction in time is, is golden. 30% less paper um, throughout the entire process. This is a huge help from the, our integration with DocuSign, being able to send electronic um, contracts to email directly real time um, so they can see exactly what they want. And when their husband gets home from work after what they just ordered, they can review it right there at the dinner table. And that really, guys, amounts to at least um, an operational savings of 100K a year. Um, it could be more now. Um, increased sales rep productivity. Sales reps love using this tool. Um, obviously, it's way better than paper. It results in more knocks. Um, working, reps are working smarter and more efficiently every day. 
Um, you have security, of course. Our, rep, our, our, our applications are secure. Our TELUS pricing is secure. Our customers' information is secure. Um, reducing churn with being able to book that installation right, right at the door, confirm when we're coming, and make sure the customers are aware of what their next steps are. And, and ultimately, and we've touched on this several times during the session, is just taking this valuable, exceptional data that TELUS had and actually leveraging it and pushing it in, putting it into pe the people's hands so that actually can make the difference and improve the experience for our value customers. And that's priceless for us. And I mean, finally, the cool factor, again, of being able to hold an iPad, um, and build the packages with your customer, build that relationship, interact with it together, um, it really just, it, it, it pours into that, that improved customer experience that we're seeing across the board with this application. Awesome, thanks, Claire. So um, I, I see we have a few minutes here for questions, about uh, three or four minutes here. Uh, so I'm gonna pass it over to Titus. I know that you're, um, you're kind of moderating what's coming through there, and if you wanna hit us with a few of those, uh, myself, Drew, and Claire will address as many as we can. Sure, yes, and please, um, as a reminder, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, submit them at the bottom right corner of your screen in the Q&A box. So the first question is, did you have any customer data in Salesforce, or was there an exercise to pull uh, this uh, data into the app? Oh, awesome. I'll take that one if you want, Claire. So um, that was, and Claire kind of touched on this, that, that it was about putting the power of the data that we already had. So in this case, it was it was a perfect example. TELUS had this data, it was accessible. So we were effectively building an application on top of that to, um, to give access to that data to the people who can actually make a difference with it, which in this case was a door-to-door -door sales rep. And oftentimes we see this with clients where uh, it's kind of a, a UI first type of engagement where you build the application and then you have to integrate that into other data systems and pass data back and forth. Um, but here we had the perfect case scenario where we had all that data, <coughs> existed, relationships were all there in one place. So it really was about just um, uh, giving that and, and I love this term, putting the power of that data in the hands of someone who can make the difference. Great, thank you. Um, the next question is, that is the app uh, available on Android? Can it be built on Android or Surface? Um, so in this case, it was done on a, it was an iOS platform and that was a decision that was made, but there's no reason that you can't do it on, uh, on, on any platform. And I'd say, uh, I don't know if I use the term hybrid, but we say it's a bit of a hybrid where we're leveraging the app, we're leveraging both that interface on the iPads and that was the, the tool of choice for TELUS. Um, but then the the uh, the whole data and application integration piece is all done on the Salesforce platform. Chris, for just a, from a doc design perspective, I'll just add one piece of color commentary. The our our standalone application is available on on any and like like Salesforce could now like Chris was talking about could be built for any uh, any any uh, end device. Yeah, and that's kind of the trend now. We don't get to we don't get to signify what what tools or, or what hardware people are going to use. So everything we build has to be has to be available on the uh, for that BYOD, bring your own device uh, type of environment. Awesome. A um, couple of last couple, uh, two more questions, and then we'll we'll move we'll move on. Um, how do you manage offline, especially when you need renewal package information? Um, so that's a that's a great question. So in this case, um, we didn't have to build any offline capabilities because everywhere that this application was going to be used, uh, the the user has um, wireless capabilities. We have, however, built um, these types of applications for offline use. Sorry, guys, that's my my time's up, buzzer. Um, but we have built it for offline use where we actually cache the data. So when you're online. In the morning, you pull down all your addresses, you pull down all your information, and then you uh, enter in, you go about your day offline, and then at the end of the day, when you reconnect to wireless, it pushes all that back up. So you have the option. In this case, we didn't have to because we had wireless wherever the, the um, sales reps were going to be. Drew, do that, you want to add anything on from the DocuSign? Yeah, I was going to say the same spirit of that statement is true for DocuSign. DocuSign does allow you to do what we call offline signing. So you can you can actually do a signature while not connected to the internet. And then when you have the ability to reconnect later, 
it, it does exactly like what Chris just said, the syncing to make sure that everything is kosher. Great. One last question, and this one's for DocuSign. Um, does DocuSign store my documents? So DocuSign can store your documents. It's really up to the specific customer needs, though. You can you can customize it to store it for a certain period of time and then erase it. It's, it's again, what, the, what that individual customer needs. Great. All right, that'll be all for, for today. Uh, again, thank you very much, Chris and Claire and Drew. Uh, we would like to thank you uh, for being on the panel today, and thank you. For, uh, each, we want to thank each one of you uh, that attended and participated. Uh, have a great remainder of your day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good morning, everybody. This is Drew Geis from DocuSign. First and foremost, I want to thank you very much for joining us, joining us for driving field, side, field sales with DocuSign and TELUS. I also want to thank Claire Jacobs from TELUS and Chris Peacock from Traction and Demand for joining us. For today's agenda, we're going to give you a very quick introduction to DocuSign, but we're going to spend the, the majority of the time talking about a globally trusted service for digital transaction management. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Chris. Thanks, Drew. Um, so a quick intro on Traction, and then I'll jump into this. Um, we are a business and technology consulting firm. Uh, we're focused on the Salesforce platform as, uh, as our platform for development. Um, we're a partner of DocuSign, and, and we like to, to say that we bend both technologies around business um, processes and practices, um, but we also say we want to bend processes and practices around these technologies to really leverage, um, leverage them. The ultimate goal of our organization as a, as a partner um, is to make businesses and people more efficient and more effective. Um, so with that, uh, I'll, I'll just touch really quickly on, uh, on our involvement of truth. You have to resolve to, to paper, and what you end up with are uh, systems supported by, by manual processes and ultimately a bad, a bad or poor customer experience. And here at DocuSign, we believe that there's a better way, and that way, of course, is, is DocuSign. So one way to think about DocuSign is an application that helps connect the systems that you've built for your business or that you're using for your specific business to the people that, that work in and around your business. Said in the most succinct way we can think of here at DocuSign, DocuSign is the fastest, most secure way to make every decision and approval digital so you can keep life and business moving forward. Our customers choose DocuSign primarily for three reasons. One, choice. So you can use us right out of the box with our, our standalone application. But more importantly, you can use us with, with one of the many pre-built integrations that we have or, or with our APIs to build into your existing systems. Two, the experience. Your experience starts when you decide to partner with DocuSign. We make it easy for you to implement and use our application driving immediate user adoption and, and benefit for you to the customer. And of course, none of this happens without trust. DocuSign and its customers want a lot of their business critical processes on there, and that, that information needs to be protected at all costs. So we use the most reliable, uh, and, and we are the most reliable, and the door-to-door -door sales application that Traction on Demand is built with to tell us. Before we get started, as Titus mentioned in the prep calls, you're on listen-only mode. We are going to be doing Q&A at the end, though. There is a Q&A chat box, or should be, on the bottom right hand of your screen. You go ahead and answer, enter in questions there, and we'll collect them throughout the, the presentation and try to answer as many as we can at the end of the call. All right, so DocuSign. Many of you have invested in ERP systems, CRM systems, line of business systems. 
And those systems are designed to communicate with the different uh, constituents in your business, your consumers, your customers, your partners, and your employees. What we see at DocuSign is that oftentimes when it comes to the 